It's good to catch it in at the railway station, Kathy. Look, with the train service, what are the main problems? With the railway line, there are two main problems. One is the foundation and they need to fix up the ballast. And the second is with the rolling stock, the carriages. They're old and they need replacing. So these things coming together have caused this enormous problem on the trains running on time, being cancelled, the train becoming a bus, and all the problems that people are now talking to me about, about a reliable service. Kathy, what action have you taken? So there's three main things that I've done about the trains. The first thing, I've got a commitment that the ballast will be fixed up by next year. So that's the mud holes, getting all that repaired. The second thing I've done is work really closely with the Victorian government to get a commitment that they will do a plan on how we're going to fix up the rolling stock, the timeliness, the schedules and all the things that go with that. And then the third thing I'm doing is putting pressure on the federal government, the Minister for Transport and Infrastructure, to pay attention to what's happening with our train lines. And I've been working very closely with our neighbourhood, a Member of Parliament, Dr Sharman Stone, so the two of us together work with Warren Trust to say we've got a problem here and we need you to fix it. But uh, I know there have been some improvements in the track and with the service, but uh, is it all really well worth fixing? Well thanks Ron, there have been improvements, it's, it is working much better than it was, but public transport and the train is just fundamental to our ability to grow the region, for people to live here, for economic development, for goods and services to move up and down the line. But also for people, we need students need to go to Melbourne to do study, people come and tell me about medical appointments in Melbourne and need it to be timely, and plus all the ordinary living that people need to do. So a reliable, efficient, effective public transport is essential infrastructure if North East Victoria is going to be able to grow and people are able to come and live here and we have the quality of lifestyle that we really need. What can we do to make a difference? So there's three things that people can do that would really make a difference. In the first instance, when they're dissatisfied, they can write me a letter. And then I will take that letter and make representation on their behalf to the relevant minister. A second, probably more efficient and effective thing to do is get in touch with V-Line. Ring them up on the 1800 number, Twitter, Facebook, go on the line and, and let V-Line know how dissatisfied they are. And then the third thing is to contact the state members of parliament and say we need to do this better. But the most useful thing to do is for community feedback to go straight to V-Line. Because after all, it's a squeaky wheel that will get the oil. If we just keep putting up with it, nothing will happen and the improvements we know we need won't happen. So take the moment, ring up V-Line, let them know how dissatisfied you are with it and ask them what actions they're going to be taking.